Hello, friends. Welcome to another amazing tutorial session. And in this episode, we would look at how to access some um, rainfall data. If you looked at the previous videos, um, I made use of patient data. And so I'll quickly run you through how to gain access to the patient data. And I mean, there are different approaches to retrieving or gaining access to the data. But then I'll run you through one very simple approach. And that's how I, I mean, I'm able to retrieve my data. And I believe that would also come in handy for you. So this is, the patient data has different um, sort of versions, yeah, depending on the approaches that I use to produce the data. Um, in most cases, it's a combination of you know, observations and then also some machine learning and some other, you know, satellite based approaches. Yes. So I would also share with you this write up that would help you, I mean, probably go through the procedure in different steps. So to kick it started, the patient data is produced by the Center for Hydrology, I mean, Center for Hydrometeorology and then Remote Sensing, that's CHRS. That's the University of California. And so you just gain access to your Google portal, I mean, your search engine, and then type in CHRS um, data. And once you have the first option, that's CHRS data portal, you click on that, it should bring you to the data portal. So on this data portal, you have the various patient data types and then the right tabs on them. So you can um, navigate through the various tabs and see what the um, description, or you see some extra documentation on the various patient data type. Okay, so now let's see, I wanna get data for my region. The beauty of it is that you can select um, data. You can actually download data for, um, a particular country, a particular water basin, a whole rectangle. I mean, you draw a grid box over an area and then you extract the data for the portion. Okay, so first and foremost, um, you can also, again, visualize your data sets from here without necessarily downloading. So whilst the tab beneath is on the visualization, I select the patient data type I want and then indicate the time step, for instance, this probably yearly and after all, the domain is the whole globe currently so um my date time let's say i would need this for the same year 2020 so i can just quickly visualize and then that should generate you know precipitation totals that's annual totals over the entire globe for me within the region that the patient data covers all right okay so now to and that's where the aspects of visualization. So um, you cannot equally do the visualization from rather than going to the data portal, you just search for CHRS um, rain sphere, and that brings you here. And this is way um, also easier an option to use. It's the same, uh, it's another portal, but this is purely for visualization and not for data download. So you can then um, run through the same procedure. Your rain layers, define the rain layers, let's say yearly. Um, I want to just find the yearly um, information for the same period 2020. And then I submit and I have the same outputs produced. Okay. And that's typically over here. You can also do way more than just um, the accumulations. You can look at the entire climatology. That's for the entire period of um, data that you have and see how the um, rainfall patterns have been. You can also do a side-by-side -side comparison where, I mean, when you compare, you'd have two different um, Region. So once we keep this locked, I select in the first region, for instance, and let's try to, okay. 
All right. So let's see in the very first panel. I would wish to have just um now I've only loaded the climatology in the 2020 data. So if I wish to have another one, I can equally change this from say maybe to 1983 and then submit. And then that gets also loaded in the window. So now I can switch between the left and right. So maybe on the left, I need 1983 information. On the right, I need say the climatology. All right. Now, once we keep this unlocked, we click on the padlock up here and we keep it unlocked. We can actually navigate into the same regions. So um, let me try to place my country IDs over them so it's clearer. And so we can then move them without, you know, they moving together and simply just visualize and see what happens for specific periods. All right. So that's also by way of visualization. You can take time, go through it more and then get some more detail, but then back to our data download. So quickly, you would move to the download tab, select the patient data type like before, indicate the time step. So probably I want a daily data or let's still stick to the yearly. And then rather than downloading for the whole globe, I can actually select a grid. So rectangle region, and then I get to draw my grid box. So let's say I need data over Africa and that's it. And then I indicate the stats and dates. So for instance, this I want data from 2019 to the end date, so 2020. And then I can indicate the format to download in. It can be in aggregate, which can be read with the GIF or the Q um, GIF. Uh, I mean the ArcGIS or the QGIS. And then you also have your TIFF files and then NetCDF. And of course, once you click on that, let's say NetCDF, I want it compressed as a dot zip and I just click on my download. All right, now it would request your email. So I then pass in my email and once it's done downloading, if it's a small file, it appears here. If it's quite larger, it takes some time to download. It will then send a direct download link to your mail and then you can click on that to easily get your data downloaded for use. All right. And that's how simple it is to get access to the patient data set. I believe you have, a, I mean, you've had a great time um, following this lesson and I hope you put it to practice and um, try to explore with the patient data. I mean, that's the essence of having data. So try to explore with it and let's, let's get creative with, with the various data. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notification to get to be part of the family and then see what we share with you all the time. And don't forget to share with your network. Do like, leave a comment if you have any question and the team would get back to you on that. Um, once in a while, we'll be coming your way with some of these um, data um, access and then how to simply download them. Do have a great and wonderful day and see you in the next tutorial video. Bye-bye.